Hello and welcome to another special video review and today we've got the Tactics Waistcode Beast Beast General DWBS01 Metal Tyrannosaurus Rex <laughs> So yeah, I finally got my uh, order uh, that I made on April, the very first April and uh, it finally arrived so uh, this is part of the, uh, the order and I've been waiting for this uh, for such a long time now. The box is a little bit banged up, uh, not that bad. Uh, everything is fine in, in in it. So yeah, this is Toy World's first uh, foray uh, into the Beast Wars, I think. And they made a uh, legend size uh, Megatron Transmetal. Uh, this is the third release. Uh, the uh, the two first release were Grimlock, which were repaints of it. There were a normal repaint, uh, a normal Grimlock, and there was the uh, super dirty uh, battle damage Grimlock, and then they've put out this um, Megatron, which was a uh, special edition. So, yeah, uh, of course I was waiting for the special edition Megatron, because this is what the original mold is all about. Uh, one thing interesting is the Tactic Waistcoat. Um, this is the same line as the uh, Masterpiece-esque Optimus Prime uh, from Bumblebee the movie which is kind of weird because this is a legend and the other one is more like a Masterpiece-esque uh, uh, figure it's really huge and everything but uh, yeah kind of same line so yeah so we've got the box uh, decent art uh, this is Toy World although not really said anywhere beside a TW right here uh, tactic waistcoat TW. Well, they changed the name maybe. <laughs> Here the box. In the back we've got legal stuff. A couple of QR codes. You have a uh, Toy World's uh, official site and a couple of more weird thing here. Uh, yep, that's pretty much it. If we open up the box, we've got uh, this, which is instructions and uh, yeah. First up, uh, we got a card uh, from Toy World. Not sure what it is. I don't read Japanese or Chinese. I'm not. I'm not even sure. Uh, we have right here uh, sort of a how to uh, get onto the website. So we have a uh, receive the box, open up the box, see the instructions, scan the QR code. It'll take you onto the Toy World Blibli uh, website. Uh, Blibli is a sort of a Chinese YouTube and yeah you have the official Toy World Club right here so most of the videos over there are just showcase of the Toy World's uh, stuff and in the instructions videos for transforming uh, figures and on the back we have uh, the worst printed ever <laughs> instructions these are bad like super horrible bad uh, the, um, uh, yeah, the, uh, they, they are badly printed. You can't barely see what's happening in everything. Like, it's really weird. I don't even know what this is. And, yeah. Very, very, very bad. Movie series. It's not even a movie. It's Beast Wars, a cartoon, but, yeah, whatever. So yeah, really bad instructions. I, I don't even recommend anyone reading them. So yeah, first up, when we open up the box right here, we have a styrofoam cover. And in it, we have the figure and all the accessories. So first up, as accessories, we have uh, uh, its tail. So we have Megatron's tail. It can wiggle, go up and down. We do have this part right here that moves up and down. We can even open up the claw. Which is really nice. So, yeah, really cool. I really love this. Let's move this aside. Uh, what do we have? We have tiny... Uh, oh, this is going to be hard to pull. Let's go with the sword. We have a black, blue... Uh, well, we have a black handle, metallic gun uh, part right here. And a translucent purple blade. Which is really cool. Really nice. And now I'm going to use the sword to pull out these. We have tiny ducks. Because in the show, uh, we have Megatron that takes a bath and has tiny rubber ducks in him. 
So I guess that's the, <laughs> the thing. And we have a second one right here. I'm gonna try and pull it out also. Voila. And this is more of a uh, metallic rubber duck, like kind of robotic. So yeah, we have this. And we also have a couple of spare heads. I'm gonna just blink. One came out, and the other one too. So we have two uh, more spare uh, spearhead, and I barely can see even the difference between them. This one seems more like a happy. This one's uh, the one on the left seems more like a smirk, I guess. And the face that we currently have on him seems pretty identical than to the other. So. Okay, this is more smiley, this is more straight, this is more like less happy, I guess. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of weird. So we have the figure right here. I'm going to put everything back in the box. I'm not going to change head. Basically, you just have to unscrew the back of the head right here, and which uh, this will loose up the, the joint, and uh, we'll um, change the head. You can put his sword in hand, obviously. So we can hold it, which is really cool, real nice sword, but, it, oh man, it's super tight now. Voila. Alright, sword is off, but I'm more of a accurate show guy, so I love to put his tail in his arm. So, there you go. And now we have Megatron, so let's close this. Anymore. Yep. So yeah, Megatron, Transmetal, Beast Wars, looking really nice. Uh, it's legend size, but it's kind of tall for a figure of a uh, legend size, I guess. But uh, yeah, really, 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 really nice looking. We do have the uh, spin the vent, the venter thing here. <laughs> Got shoulder pads, really nice. Uh, yeah, can remove the tail, this is a weapon. Uh, one thing I need to mention is that the more you play with it, when I first took, I took it out of the, the box, the joints were super tight, like scary, super tight. But now, it's all floppy. I mean, the legs are okay now. The This arm is still okay, but this one... It was a super, super, super uh, tight, and now it's not, so it's kind of weird. Uh, yeah, the more you play with it, the more looser it gets easy. So, as for visual, you need EDC have a really nice head, nice torso painted in purple, looking uh, a lot like the TV show with red eyes. We do have a really nice metal blue. Uh, this is plastic, but the heels are in metal. The heels are like the rollerblade thing. So, yeah, looking really nice. We have the wind turbine. They can open up and rotate. So if you want to uh, start flying, just open it up like this. They do spin. That's cool. We do have some more nice detail in here. Of electronics and motors and whatnot. Really, really, really cool. Articulation, the head is on a ball joint, so it can move side to side, up and down, rotate, no problem. Uh, the arms are on ball joint, so they can flip, rotate. We have a swivel right here at the upper elbow, uh, the upper arm. It's super tight, but it's there. Uh, we do have a double uh, elbow joint, like this. We do have rotation of the wrists. Super tight again. Like I said, the, the, the joints are super, super tight, but they come the, the more you play with it, the more loose it gets. So, yeah. Uh, legs can move forward like this, can move back like this, can do it a split. Uh, we do have a rotation joint at the upper thigh, ball joint here. Uh, we do have double jointed knee. So, that's good. Uh, the heel uh, does tilt side to side. And go up like this, down like this. Oh, well, pretty cool. We do have this thing right here. We can open it up. 
Uh, like this. This is more for the robot uh, tra transformation. But uh, yeah. Do you have this? We do have the blades like this. Just like this, just like this. But this is again, it's more for the uh, uh, dino mode. <laughs> so yeah. Alright, let's give him his tail back. Can put it on the other hand. So I guess uh, we can put it in this hand or the other way around like this. So yeah, you can put it in either hand. So, uh, comparison, uh, I don't know what to compare it with. We have another Toy World Legend figure. So this is Toy World's first foray into the legend size figures. This is Wheeljack. So, move the arm closer. So we have Toy World's Wheeljack. We have Magic Square's um, Optimus Prime. So you can see he is a little bit bigger. We have... Uh, Transform Element Black Arachnia and Transform Element uh, Rat Trap and you can see these scales are really nice with her with them with each other <laughs> so yeah let's remove these uh, yoink, yoink. another one to compare it with is the Irons Factory Heat Death so the other Megatron Transmetal, so you have them both, so you have the first version which is the Dino and the other one is the, uh, wait, let's bring them closer, the Transmetal Dragon, so yeah, they look really cool together, they, they are even the same size, it's really nice. <laughs> and less, less of a... Good comparison, <laughs> we have the Masterpiece Megatron, <laughs> so, yeah, a little bit, a little bit different. <laughs> so we have the first generation, the second generation, and the third generation <laughs> right here, so, yeah, really cool. <laughs> yeah, bring him back, oh. big figure. And we have right here, uh, I think this is the uh, uh, New Age Megatron. I'm not even sure anymore. New Age. Or, I don't even remember. It's not Magic Square, because Magic Square is uh, still ordered. I'm going to get it soon. So, yeah. <laughs> I got so many. I'm losing track. Of so, yeah. Generation 1. All right, so transformation. Uh, transformation is uh, intricate, interesting. Uh, let's remove the tail first, like this. Now the backpack doesn't really, it's supposed to peg, but it doesn't really peg in to place too much. So you want to open this up like this. Bring the arms forward like this, the, the, the shoulder pads and the head. Pull on the backpack right here. Open it up, open the head up, bring the dino head up, and close these in like this. Voila. Next up, you want to bring the arms, uh, close them like this, close them like this. And now is the tricky part is that uh, inside the forearm right here, you have a tiny notch on both arms, and you have notches inside right here. You need to insert the arms so that they peg in to these notch and it's kind of super hard to see or even peg them so you need to bring them both in and make sure they peg in so i think i just got it but when you get it, it it's super solid like this next up you want to bring the dragon uh no turn the dragon head on top right here Bring it down, close this in like this, close this in, and encapsulate the head into the, uh, the, uh, the T-Rex neck like this. Pull on these panel right here, open it up, and close these panel in over the arms. Now you want to peg these in and peg here also. 
and it's kind of scary to do. Move these arms like this, and you want to make sure you do it perfectly. Voila, this is okay. This is okay. All right, we got it. It's I had much trouble doing it earlier, so this is like this. All right, bring this back up like this. Spin the leg all the way around. Like this. Bring the legs down. Down. Bring the reactor flying thing here. And you want to peg uh, this notch right here inside of the metal hinge. So bring it here. Clip it in. Clip it in. Close these. And close these like this. Like this. Now you can see the legs are uh, popped out like this which is good. Lift these panel up like this and bring the legs forward like this like this and we're almost done so bring the tail make sure the spikes are on the top and you want to plug this round this piece inside of that part right here and voila we have Megatron in T-Rex mode all done. So just pose him and there you go. Really, really, really cool. I really dig this. <laughs> and he looks really nice. Uh, we do have a really nice metallic head. We do have the mouth that can open and close. We do have a tongue in it, uh, in its mouth. Uh, let's try and open it up. Uh, I've got a tiny tool right here. So let's bring the tongue down. There you go. So, yeah, the head, uh, the mouth can open, close, can move up, down. Uh, we have the tiny arms that rotate on ball joints. The leg can move back and forth. You can close this if you want to. Oh, yeah, like this. You need to bring these down, peg it in. So open this up. Rotate this down. And you have like two notches. Close this in. Voila. Oh yeah. Perfectly. So yeah, we do have the knee bend and same articulation for the feet. And the tail can wiggle up, down, left, right. So that's pretty cool. So yeah, the dino mode. And it can also transform into its uh, v, v Tech thing. I'm not too sure about it. But yeah, you just open up the uh, turbine one right here. Flip the foot out with the, uh, <laughs> the, the the blades, I guess, the roller blades. And yeah, there you go. Now you can uh, swoosh faster. It's actually a thing in the show, so. <laughs> yeah but he is really 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 cool I really dig this uh, like I said maybe a little problematic with the joints but looking really nice I mean this is really what we had in the show when he was uh, transforming into his first transmetal dino mode and I was a huge fan of it <laughs> So yeah, maybe you can do a comparison with his uh, buddies. So comparison, we have the uh, Transform Element, Black Arachnia, and Rat Trap. And I still believe they look amazing together. I mean, these are a set made together. I believe almost that uh, Transform Element and Toy World works hand in hand with these. It's really nice to see all the uh, these together. We need more. So Toy World, Transform Element. Give us more Beast Wars. <laughs> and also the uh, Iron Factory's Dragon. So Megatron and Red Dragon. And they look really nice. Now he is much bigger now in Red Dragon. But still looks really decent. Really, uh, even though he's more stylized, more mechanical. Uh, still looks like they belong to the same... The, the the same uh, collection no i'm not gonna show the uh, optimus prime uh, wheel jack and uh, the masterpiece one because you know it's just ridiculous but all these looks really great together this is a really nice megatron uh, beast wars and i've been longing for new beast wars figure for a long time uh, transform element just started which is great 
Uh, Toy World just started in the, 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 their foray in it, but I believe they didn't really make it successful. People really didn't like the fact that it was uh, Grimlock that first came out. Uh, it feels a little bit greedy, even though we all know the mole was for Megatron. It was the third repaint that we've got that was Megatron. So they made two, two other repaint for Grimlock. And then they came out with a Megatron, which is a little bit... Uh, it's on a marketing standpoint, it's great. But for the fan standpoint, it's not that great. And also this figure it has, you know, the problems with the loose joints. Now, the, a lot of people complain that, that of some breakage and some of the joints become so loose, it, it, the figure doesn't even stand uh, straight. Uh, I can understand that, but it's easily fixed. I mean, you can just get yourself some kicky fix loose joint thing or just use your floor polish or glue or whatever you use and it will fix the figure. And, I still stand firm that this is an awesome figure, a great Megatron, uh, transformation is nice, the figure looks great, the transformation is good, the look is just awesome, the plastic quality feels great, this is an awesome figure and I do not, reg I do not regret getting it, it's really nice, I really am in love with the, the uh, Megatron uh, Transmetal figure, looks amazing, so yeah I do recommend it, go and pick it up. Uh, don't hesitate. I, I know a lot of people had a bad experience, but take care of your stuff, and it's such an amazing figure. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. So, yeah, uh, that's pretty much for me. Uh, like I said, go and pick it up. It's j just great, and uh, I just keep repeating myself. So, <laughs> so anyway, uh, like, subscribe, leave a comment. I always reply, and I thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.